وقوله او وقوله وسع كرسيه السماوات والارض the his footstool or his chair depending on which one we will use encompasses the heavens and the earth extends over the heavens and the earth now again uh, linguistically kursi is chair but legally from what we understand of the of the uh, yani the how it is being used if this is a, the way a good way to put it yani legally it is the footstool footstool we will see don't what but, is called in arabic Kursi Arsh No 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 what Arsh What no Arsh here Throne is the Arsh Throne is Arsh Kursi is some, something different Something different Hey don't get it twisted now Ar-Rahman ala al-Arsh istawa The most merciful rose above the throne The Kursi we will see You may you may panic if you're not used to the aqidah If you don't understand the foundation we began with, you may freak out, but I don't want you to freak out. I'm going to take it easy on you because it's going to come. Nonetheless, I take you back to the asl, the foundation which we built this understanding of ours, of this deen, of the statements of Allah in the Quran and the hadith of Prophet Sallam, that لَيْسَ كَمِثْلِهِ شَيْءٍ There's nothing like Allah. There's nothing like Allah. So whether we're speaking of a throne, or we're speaking of a footstool, or we're speaking of Allah's hands, or Allah's eyes, or Allah's face, There's nothing like Allah. But you cannot turn around as the misguided people do and deny them. Because Allah mentioned them in the Quran. وَيَبْقَ وَجْهُ رَبِّكَ ذُو الْجَلَالِ وَالْإِكْرَامِ How are you going to change that? He told Iblis, وَمَا مَنَعَكَ أَن تَسْجُدَ لِمَا خَلَقْتَ بِيَدَيْ What prevented you from prostrating to what I have created with my two hands? Who, who's going to say no to Allah? You think Allah is going to give you false information in the Quran? Do you think that there will be a hidden meaning that only philosophers understand as some of the Muslims claim? No. But don't, don't make any movement with your hand. The sunnah is a, a, a. Yes. That the heart of the believers is between two fingers of the fingers of Allah. He turns them around however He wills. But as is, لا تمثل لا تشبه don't, don't resemble don't think of a creation because whatever you're imagining is wrong you don't know because Allah told you there's nothing like Him and we mentioned in the very early stages of these durus we gave some, some examples which will clarify we said ya akhi and I will repeat it for those who are new just so we will understand what that means because this is sensitive man this is the whole book is because of this that many Muslims have went to one of two extremes some said You cannot say these things, Akhi, because you're making Allah like His creation. And the other extreme went to resembling Allah to His creation. So they said, Allah has hands like these hands, and a face like this face. So we say, Ahl Sunnah wal Jama'ah, don't go to extremes. We don't deny what Allah says in the Quran, because Allah said this Quran is, is means of guidance. He will not misguide us. Allah knows more about the language and about Himself than we do. Right? And the Prophet ﷺ knows more about Allah. He used these expressions. The Arabic language is known and the meanings are known. And then we have been taught by Allah, لَيْسَ كَمِثْلِهِ شَيْءٍ وَلَمْ يَكُنْ لَهُ كُفُوًا أَحَدٍ هَلْ تَعْلَمُ لَهُ سَمِيَّةٍ The verses are many. There's nothing like Allah. What does that mean? They invent, let's say there's a new product called Chi Chi Choo Choo. Maalish, bear with me. I'm the only one who has this Chi Chi Choo Choo. طيب. Now, I come and tell you, Hey, have you seen the Chi Chi Choo Choo? No. You're going to say, what is that? Now this Chi Chi Choo Choo is not, it's not a gadget, it's not an electronic device, it's not a car, it's not a chair, it's something that is totally new. There's absolutely no, nothing on this earth that me and you have seen that is similar to it in any way, shape or form. How would you understand what that thing is? You cannot. Even if I start giving you description, what will you do? Your mind will start to develop images based on my statements from scratch. And chances are, when you're done with the final image, it's going to be nothing like what I have. What are the chances of getting it accurately? None. Right? Because each one will have his own 
I may say it's big. Maybe someone will think a big uh, mountain. Maybe someone will think big like a table. Right? It varies even the word big. As simple as that. طيب. If it was the other way around. Everybody knows the, you know, Nokia N95. Let's say they make N96. But you haven't seen it. So I come and tell you, did you see the Nokia N96? You say, no, what's up with it? How, what does it look like? I say, you know the N95? You say, yeah, I have one. I say, the screen is a little bigger. So what does your mind do? It will have an image of N95, and it will start building based on this image. Wider screen, more buttons, whatever it is. Because of the availability of the original image, you may, you may have a closer conce- conception of what this new phone is about because of a pre-existing image that your mind has. This is how it is. When there's nothing like Allah and you speak of face. So you can no longer think of a face of a human being. And you cannot think of a face of any of any creation. You see? Because there's nothing like Allah. So what are you going to use as a foundation to build upon? Nothing. So do you go to the extreme and say Allah doesn't have a face because I think of human beings? Say the problem is with you. Why do you have to think of a face of a human being or a creation? Allah is the creator. He's different than his creation. Why do you insist on creating an image then turning around and denying it? Don't have an image. Allah said it in the Quran. You better believe man. إِنَّ هَذَا الْقُرْآنِ يَهْدِي لِلَّتِي هِيَ أَقْوَمْ This Quran guides you to that which is more straight. That's as straight as it can be. There's no crookedness there. No doubt in this book. So you don't want to play around with the statements of Allah. As many of the Ashaira do. They will interpret the verses. They say the two hands of Allah as the Qudra. The ability of Allah. So the, the ability of Allah is now only to... Who gave you, this, who gave you, the, 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 who gave you the, uh, the permission to give a meaning other than the apparent meaning? If that was something valid, guess what? The Prophet Muhammad would have taught us. He knows Allah. He would have said, pay attention, be careful, dear Muslims. Don't, don't, when, we, when Allah speaks about His face, His hands, don't, don't believe that. What is intended is that bounty. What is intended is ability. He didn't say anything. The Arabs... The Arabs at that time who knew the language understood what these words mean in the Arabic language. Wajih means face. But they had adab, they had respect, uh, manners with Allah. They wouldn't dare to speak because of the majesty of Allah. They believed the way the apparent meaning was. We take the apparent meaning while basing it on the foundation. There's nothing like Allah. Is that clear? So now when we mention the footstool, which according to the tafsir of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu is, it is the place where Allah Azza wa Jal puts his feet. Don't be imagining anything. <laughs> and if you do, I will remind you with my old example, right click, delete, and go then to the trash bin, the recycle bin on your PC, and then permanently delete it. <laughs> Anyway, empty recycle bin, don't have any, because maybe your shaitan will tell you to... to What's your delete directly? Tayyib, uh, no problem. You just call the shaitan attack. Anyway, take out the whole file from your... This is very difficult. And the situation you are start developing... Yeah, but then you say, you know, I meant to Billah, I believe in Allah, and you khalas get busy with, with worship in Allah. Yeah, you don't. Of course, anyone who dwells upon any thought, yes, will will. Uh, that's why you know it's not the sunnah. You know that's why the sunnah is that you don't you don't sit there and think about these things. You know because you you're gonna get your mind uh, over occupied and you're not gonna get anywhere. You're not going to be able to establish anything valid. And if the Prophet ﷺ said about Jannah that Allah says about Jannah and وَمَا, لَا وما خطر على قلب بشر عدت لعباد يا صالحين ما لا عين رأت ولا أذن سمعت ولا خطر على قلب بشر I have prepared for my righteous servants in Jannah what no eye has ever seen no ear has ever heard and never come across a human's mind if this is Jannah the creation of Allah never come across a human's mind then what are you going to say about Allah Azza wa Jal so you will not ever be able to do that that's why you believe and you look forward to meeting Allah on the day of judgment. If you go to Jannah, you will see Allah. The Prophet ﷺ said, you will see Allah the same way you see the moon. The same way you see the moon. Do you see on a clear night? Do you see any trouble? Having any trouble looking at the moon? No. Likewise, you will see your Lord on the day of judgment. Then and only then. If Allah allows us to be among those, we will discover. For now, worship Him. 
believe in his verses, believe in his statements, follow the opinion of the Ijma' of the Muslims. Imam Abu Hanifa, Rahimullah, Imam Malik, Imam Ahmad, Imam Shafi'i, all of the Imma, all of the companions agreed about these things. Read their books of Aqeedah, the Aqeedah Tahawiyah, these are authored by Madahib. The Imams of Madahib, the Hanafiya, and the Shafi'iya, nowadays people follow them in their fiqh and they leave alone their Aqeedah. They leave alone their Aqeedah. Imam al Dhahabi uh, authored a book called Al Ulu, with the transcendency, Allah's transcendency, Allah being above His creation. Uh, and he quoted all of the statements of the Salaf. The statements of Bukhari, Muslim, Al Tirmidhi, Al Nasa'i, all of the Imma, all of them, the Akhwan, agreed, except for those who you know, deviated. All of them agreed about these foundations that we accept the apparent meanings, huh? we do not distort them as the Jews and the Christians do, we do not explain them away, avoid them, run away from them, given a meaning other than the apparent meaning. All while not resembling Allah to His creation. Because Allah taught us in Surah Al-Shura, verse 11, لَيْسَ كَمِثْلِهِ شَيْءٍ وَهُوَ السَّمِيعُ الْعَلِيمُ وَهُوَ السَّمِيعُ الْبَصِيرُ There is nothing like unto Him. Nothing like Allah. And Allah taught us, وَلَمْ يَكُنْ لَهُ كُفُونَ أَحَدٍ And there is none co-equal to Him. All these are for what? For you to understand this foundation and build your deen upon it. طيب. 